Talk to me about Alain Vigneault. Do you know where they currently sit in the standings? I believe, without looking, they are either tied for first or second in the Metro, right? They are second in the Metro, one point behind Washington. How many games played? Both of them have 69 games played. Nice. This team, at the beginning of the year, we did our playoff predictions, right? And we had, I think I had them in a wild card spot. I definitely didn't have them in a divisional spot. Mm -hmm. And I said, Alain Vigneault is going to win the Jack Adams trophy if they make the playoffs. And what did they do? They're, they probably they're, the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. Can you name me other coaches who deserve the Jack Adams award? John Tortorella? If they make the playoffs, maybe. Yeah, I'm looking around. I think, of course, you got to give some credit to Bruce Cassidy, who, of course, the Bruins are already at 90. Yeah, points. but you don't, you don't, you don't get a Jack Adams trophy for coaching a good team. We know that. I mean, beside that, I'm looking at the central teams. Of course, they are where you expect they are. Uh, the Predators don't deserve any sort of credit. Um, I would probably say, is it Dave Tippett in Edmonton? I think deserves a fair, a really, really good applause there. Uh, and Travis Green, if the Canucks make it. Those would be my three. Probably Vino, Tippett, and Travis Green. Yeah, but they ha Edmonton has the two of the top five centermen in hockey right now. Yes, but that's only... well. But, but at the same time, that was an argument for how the hell are they this bad last year when they had 200-point players. Right. And I mean, the defensive game... That you know what? You make a good point, but I still like Alain Vigneault better. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't need to take away from Alain Vigneault because I think I had the Flyers making it in the third divisional spot just because I thought the rest of the Metro would be complete garbage. And I, like a lot of other people, thought the Atlantic was going to be a juggernaut. Oh, boy. But um, How wrong we were. Oh, of course. And it's amazing at the same time what happens when you finally get a half-decent goaltender. Right. Imagine, imagine. Just imagine having a good goaltender. And as Aline Vigneault has actually said in the past, show me, oh, sorry, if I have a better goaltender than you, I win. If you have a better goaltender than me, you win. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. Who got fired this year? Okay. Babcock, Peters, uh, Jim Montgomery were fired for other reasons. Mm -hmm. um, Gerard Bob Gallant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair. Because Goaltending. Yes. And because Pete DeBoer was available. True. Who, el <laughs> I mean, who else got fired? Um, um, yeah, P Peter Laviolette, John Hines. Goaltending. Let's see, if, if we go, let's just go to the, the Blues didn't get fired. Betnar is still around. Yeah, as you say, Rick Bonus replaced Jim Montgomery. Laviolette got canned. Bruce Boudreau, we forgot about. I'm looking. Well, Bruce Boudreau, I, I still don't understand why he was fired, but. Yeah, that was, I, I don't understand that either. Beside that, uh, yeah, we mentioned Babcock. But that was um, other reasons. Of course, uh, Trotz is still around. Who is... I always, if, if I can go to every single team, I can name you every coach except, is it, is it David, David Quinn in the New York Rangers head coach? Yeah, Dave Quinn. Okay, yeah, never mind. So I think it's all those guys we mentioned, yeah. That have been fine. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No, yeah, I think Vino definitely deserves a finalist in my opinion. I think I, I, I'm going to take a side of Tippett here. But I feel like definitely the two people we are selecting in Vino and Tippett are going to be, or should be at least, two of the finalists. For sure. Uh, but I think we can both agree, though, Bruce Cassidy should probably win it, but at the same time, oh my god, you're actually a good coach of a good team. That doesn't count. Yeah, but did John Cooper win it last year? I, w I don't actually know. Did he? I don't believe so. So if John Cooper couldn't win it last year and arguably had a better team, uh, would have a better record, um, Bruce Cassidy does not win it. No. Okay, so let me ask you this. Oh, yeah, Was it Tampa Barry Trotz? 
It was. I was going to ask you, who was a team last year that you thought was going to be bad and overachieved? Barry Trotz. Barry Trotz. By the way, the Islanders? Not in a playoff spot. Not in the playoffs. Of course, they have games in hand over the Blue Jackets, but um, the Columbus... You might, you might just be right on, on the New York Islanders. I think... I uh, Yeah, but... I... I I don't think I'm going to deserve the win. It feels like, I don't know what's quite going on with the Islanders, but I mean, they still have a chance. They, they were very lucky to get a point last night against the Canucks. The Canucks also have been in a bit of a slide, massive shootout winner last night. They have the games in hand over Columbus, but it's, it's going to be tight. It's not as tight as the whole Pacific division in the West, but the wild card race in the East with those Metro teams, it's real. It is real. And Florida, just because, why the hell not? Because uh, they added, because no one wants third in the Atlantic. 